So do you guys remember when you used Luma AI to turn video from objects in real life into 3D mesh? Well, I told you guys there's an Unreal Engine plugin that lets you take nerfs straight to Unreal Engine. If you add that lighting, beautiful lumen, that's what we're gonna test out today. Let's fucking wait, go. Wait, wait, wait. What the fuck is a nerf? And why should I care? Well, nerfs are neural radiance fields, and what makes them so special and powerful is that they allow you to capture real life environments, giant, real life environments and turn them into volumetric captures that then you can take to 3D softwares and do absolutely anything you want. Music videos, cinematic scenes, do whatever the fuck you want. Now Corridor Crew has done a whole video explaining the technology of nerfs about a few months ago. But that was when nerfs were just getting popular and Luma AI's Unreal Engine plugin did not exist. In fact, it's so new, it's only a couple of weeks old and not a lot of videos are out there. Let's fucking go. All right, so I'm at a tiny park right beside my house and I figured this could probably be the best place I can start with since it's not that big. And I'm just gonna try to get a coverage of this middle area right here. There's a couple of people walking around me, but I should be able to just wait until they move and then continue the recording. So let's give this place a try and see how it goes. Ah, well, looks like you guys remember this spot, no? The limo, the auto pay. Yeah, we're back at the parking lot because parking lots, I just spat on the lens, sorry. <laughs> so I spat on you. Okay, all right, enough, enough sexy time. Let's get to business. Yep. It started raining in the middle of my scan. Luckily, I got the video though, so we're good. Let's bounce. Okay, so I'm behind my computer right now. We've done the scans. I've got a couple of videos. And what's interesting is that every video is different and I'll explain. Starting out, we're gonna go with the one that I believe is gonna have the best output and that is the parking lot. And remove humans. Oh, they added that? There's no humans, so I'm good. So the reason why I think the parking lot is going to work is because there is not a lot of minuscule detail in the shot. We have the big cars, the big auto pay, and since I'm recording at 4K 30 FPS, I should have done 60. I wanted the file size to be small, but I should do 60 FPS next time. When I pause, each shot seems pretty sharp. Now, my next location, which was a park, has loads of plants. And because of that, if you look around you to the left side of my screen, just look at all these plants. They all look blurry to me. So this might end up looking like shit. I have no hopes for this shot, but we're still gonna give it a try. For the third one, this shot. So I went down to the docks. Uh, this is the water ferry stop that is right beside our house. You've seen it in the vlogs probably. And the only problem here is it's just out in the open. There's literally a huge body of water around me. And as you might've already guessed, water is reflective. So it acts like glass essentially. And you know, glass doesn't get picked up that well and the second problem is the water is moving so i don't know how this is gonna look and i didn't even do my three turns of a low angle a mid angle and a high angle i'm literally just going around one time and i'm hoping i can get something out of it there's these yachts beside me that are giant super yachts as you can see maybe they'll get picked up i don't know we'll see but let's let's give it a try and there's that guy's ass over there that you can see on the left side i managed to capture i hope his ass doesn't turn out to be in the nerf in the meantime i have downloaded the Luma Unreal Engine plugin. When you do a scan of a location, when you go to download, I'm gonna download a Luma field file. Wait a second, this is fucking crazy. It creates 3D models with text. I didn't know Luma Labs has an imagined 3D. Did you know about this? Look at these, these are fucking good. Can you try it? I can't, I'm on the wait list. Can we DM them? I'm wanting this, look at this. A porter of a strange alien with a huge pulsing wet brain. I mean, I knew this is gonna become a thing, but I didn't know it's actually out on Luma Lab. And people are using it and I haven't heard about it? What the actual fuck? So while this is working, let's go ahead and use one of our old scans that does actually have a Luma AI field that I have downloaded. And we're gonna drag and drop. Boom, dynamic with environment. Yo, whoa, this is dope. Yo, no way. Yo, this is cool. Holy shit, it scanned all of this from an iPhone footage? I didn't even go here. And now it looks like shit from the back, of course. I didn't even move at the back of this, but from here, that looks pretty fine to me. And it scanned all of this. This is like a trippy ass painting, yo. Holy shit, look, look at this. When you get up close, it looks so weird. But then when you're far away, it kind of makes sense. That's definitely what the board looks like. This is the car. <laughs> of course it looks like this from the back because I didn't scan it. But from here, it looks good. And this is supposed to react to light. So let's check it out. 
Yo, no. <laughs> what? This is so fucking cool. We can literally do music videos. <laughs> we can fucking do music videos like this, bro. And we don't even have to make the sets. We can literally use real life sets, mash them up together to create a dope music video. Okay, hold it right there. First of all, I just wanna say thank you for watching through all of this video. I hope everything you watch was helpful and entertaining and educational at the same time. I did make a promise to you guys that we are going to be taking a look at all three locations as a nerf in Unreal Engine 5, but unfortunately, we only finished filming quite late in the day, and as you know, this is still a daily vlog, and I have to finish this edit for bad decisions by the end of the day, and have it up so you guys can watch it. Luckily, we still got to see one of the old scans from a previous video as a nerf in Unreal Engine 5, and now we know the power and the coolness of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it and pause right here, and come back again tomorrow as a part two of this video. We're gonna be taking all the three nerfs from Luma AI and adding in characters, adding in camera movements, and seeing how much cooler can we get these shots to look. Thank you again for watching this video, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, ciao!